Cuando dice que me quieres, no sé Que está con otras mujeres, no sé hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to an interesting one another interesting one because i always give you guys back to back interesting content but you guys don't comment and i don't know why anyway that is not what we're talking about today so today we'll be talking about something a tweet that i saw and i really liked it touched me in ways that just very few things have touched me you know so um this person i'm going to put the tweet here here so this person said, this person's name is Chijoke, yeah, on Twitter. So he said, never in my life have I met humans as civilized as the, Jap the Japanese. They are the true resemblance of image of God. During my first trip to Japan, a colleague from the US forgot his laptop at the park, at the park of all places. He rushed back there and the place was closed for the day. Everyone was relaxed except me and my friend. Even the taxi driver wasn't bothered. He promised to drive us there by 9 a.m. the next day because park upon 8 for the 5 a.m. He assured us we would get it back that Japanese do not steal because stealing reduces a man. That statement almost knocked me to the ground. This was 2012, not 1912. I think anybody who is afraid of making heaven should visit Japan before dying because that's closest to the best humans can get to. And that will give the person a picture of how organized heaven might be. These are people who apologize because you heard the sound of their ringtone. How? About 90% of Japan, Japanese leave their phones on silent mode so as not to disturb the next person. They all have airpace and, and are thinking of stopping having horns in cars because nobody uses it. Long and short of the story is that we got there the next morning and the attendant took us to where we sat and behold, the laptop was there. Finish me. <laughs> Finish me with smile because when I saw this tweet, I was like, where? Japan. I, I add automatically I added Japan in countries I would like to visit. Like the place is quiet. They're apologizing because you heard their ringtone. How? How? They apologize because you heard their ringtone. That one got me. And the second one, they apologize because um no, they believe that stealing reduces a man. I hate noise and stealing. They stole my bag. I've not gotten over it because I'm always angry whenever I remember it. I hate noise. Like I always call Lagos the noisiest state in the world. Till someone told me that Lagos is not the noisiest state in the world. I should go to other countries and see. So Japanese, they don't even use their they horns in their cars. They don't use it. And their phones are always on silence. And they apologize when you hear their ringtone. And they all have earpiece. Anyway, let's see what other people tweeted about this before we come straight into this video because I have a lot of things to talk about it. I have a lot of things to talk about. So someone replied to this comment, to this uh, tweet. This phone behave a big, I'll fling you. A Japanese once commented about our, our story and said, in your story, the tortoise is a hero because he is corny and always outwits outwit others through tricky and deception. This tells a lot about your value system. Come to think of it, yes, the tortoise is always a hero. So for the Japanese, they see that story as... as misbehavior. They see the story as I don't think they tell that story in this could in, in their country because he said this tells these stories that you always talk about these stories you tell your children and you paint tortoise the hero tells a lot about your value system it tells a lot about your country it tells a lot about and if you come to think of it we always idolize people that have lots of money give back to the community through 
stealing. Okay? Through fraud. This really tells a lot about our value value system. Then stealing with Jesus. Someone else um, tweeted, stealing with Jesus a man. Can we just have this on a billboard in every open place in Nigeria, including Asarok? Thank you. No wala. <laughs> then someone tweeted, then fit thief the billboard though, in Nigeria. That's horrible. That's that. <sighs> Other people replied. And you know the most beautiful thing? They are not Christians, but rather of either Shinto or Buddhism. That's what makes them different and respectful of all life forms. Sometimes most religious people lack mainly because of their shallow, narrow religious doctrines. So we can agree that religion isn't our problem. Japan has gone far. Absolutely true. Niger no fit relates. One of the setbacks that really prevents us from progressing fast is the hobby of flaunting wealth. It cripples the mind and push the drive to get it at all costs, no matter what it takes. Can we get rid of it? You can make it hard for people to get wealth and they not flaunt it when they eventually get it. Go and check wealth flaunting is more rampant in environments where it's extremely hard to get wealth. I remember when so so person misplaced his iPhone and still found it. The Japanese people are actually good people. I once stayed with a Japanese lady and I can attest to this. Surprisingly, this lady doesn't believe what God this lady doesn't believe that God exists. She said she doesn't know what church is like and she has never been to one except for tourism. China, you can't lose your valuables. Never, ever. They did similar thing in the 2018 FIFA World Cup where they cleaned their dressing room after Bell Red Devils knocked them out in the quarterfinals and they left a thank you note in the room. That's so adorable how they cleaned their dressing room this is how japan left the left the changing room after losing to belgium spotless and with a thank you note in russian pure class this particular one sent sent shivers down my spine like plus you thought they would put juju in your shoes very true very true and the same applies to south korea the crime rate there was almost zero i recall the hotel I recall the hotel I lodged in 2010. The instruction is that if you want your shoes shined, just place it outside the door of your room. But with such a Nigerian mentality, I was uncomfortable. And Nigerian mentality, which is, you thought they will put juju in your shoes only in Nigeria. I have come to realize that there is some, there is more wickedness in a place where there is poverty and love and kindness is a more civilized and advanced society. Currently stay in Japan, been there for just one week and it's amazing how things work here. I can't really begin to explain how advanced these people are and they are so nice too. Nigeria really has a long way to go. A Japanese businessman advised that instead of depending on written agreement to secure your interest, go into unrelated discussion with your intending partner and observe closely what he says about corruption, stealing and life in general and you will get a better picture. Hmm. This is wisdom here. I disagree. Nigerians would deceive you successfully. I'm facing one right now. Sorry. I said that even if I have all the money in the world to stay in Nigeria, I still need five years in a sane climate. I want to purge myself of every toxic stuff that seemed normal to me being born and living in Nigeria. That seemed normal to me being born and living in Nigeria. I want that bit of heaven on earth. I say this all the time, even if I have the whole money in the world, there are some things that I do not agree with in this place. And I, w I don't just want to stay in this country because of some certain mentality, some certain way of life. Even if I have the whole money in the world, when you live in a place where you can get all your desire, why still? 
food is available, home is available, job available, hospital available, and so many more. It was like that in the past in Nigeria. Those days, our fathers don't lock doors to go outside. Okay. Train station apologized on national TV for coming two, two minutes late. They clean up their surroundings and pick up their waste in public spaces, even at concerts and stadiums. The story is very valid. In fact, there was a time the Japanese police were so idle that they started going out to look for crime, like they will be paid special bonus if they can even make one arrest. We need to grow, change our mindsets. You pay for visa when it is issued and the cost is nothing compared to other countries. They don't rob or steal for real. Wow. You pay for your visa when you have gotten the visa. You will not pay for the visa if the visa was if your application was rejected. That's something. That's something. The kids greet you with a bow after crossing the road at a zebra crossing. <sighs> Let me calm down. Japanese made Japan what it is. Nigerians make Nigeria what it is. Nigerians would have blamed the government for the loss of that laptop wherever, whereas it would have been stolen by a Nigerian. Nigerian isn't bad. Nigerians are bad. Even the leaders are Nigerians. Nigeria is a blessed country nigeria is so blessed that i wish things were fine nigeria has a balanced weather nigerians nigeria has culture they teach culture to their children they teach manners nigeria has vast cultures languages nigeria has good food healthy food healthy food healthy fruits healthy snacks nigerians are hard-working people they are indigenous people we have beautiful people we have great talent we have mind-blowing talents that are representing us everywhere in the world look at ikorodu Bo boys doing amazing things what people as in they are setting standards they are setting paths they are path finders and pay setters i can say I, I even noticed some other kids have started copying what they do nigerians mind as in our minds are so creative we have good weather when it's time for it to be sunny, it is too sunny. When it's time for it to be dry, you know, we have sunny weather. We have dry. We have rainy season. Okay? We have all of these beautiful things. We don't have extreme cold and extreme heat. We don't have extreme cold and extreme heat. We have beautiful weather. And we are packing all of our things to places that are extremely cold but we have to manage because our country is being run by greedy people greedy nigerians we are losing our culture we are losing our pride gradually nigeria is blessed with natural resources we do not have natural disasters we don't have extreme wind, hurricanes, and all of that natural disaster. We don't have any of that. We don't suffer from any of that. We have perfect weather, good natural resources, crops, gold, oil, to just mention a few, leather. We have this beautiful thing. We have clean water but what is wrong with nigeria what is wrong with nigeria is nigerians the, the the high rate of poverty in nigeria is making people dive into crime and fraud 
the politicians, the leaders are not setting good examples in every ramification. They're not setting standards. They're not setting. They are only setting negative standards. They are all. They are only setting. As in, when this 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 administration come and steal, the next administration is coming to steal even more. That's the kind of standards they are setting. They are not setting any right standard at all. Now look at Japan. Someone said the, the last tweet I read said it all. Japan is made up of Japanese people. Nigeria is made up of Nigerians. So if we can come together to just chase away all of these dirty thoughts, all of this dirty attitude and overly we are just we we overly righteous and i said our country is just perfect for people to live in our country is supposed to be good with tourism we're supposed to be making money from tourism from tourists and tourism we're supposed to have our venues for tourism but no if you create anyone it will be destroyed you will see people there you will see this louts there and touts asking for money just for you to take pictures you go to a restaurant they will tell you no filming i don't know what they are hiding everything is just not organized nothing is organized we blame we don't we don't we don't take we don't take our 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 we don't take our faults like we don't take our 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 mistakes we always blame we always find someone to blame for our mistakes if the leaders are misbehaving if the leaders are just being unfortunate we can do better it starts with me it starts with you we can do better learn to clean up after ourselves learn to take your dirty stuff put it in your bag when you get home you dispose of it you don't need to litter the environment. Yesterday I was in the car and somebody finished eating gala. Open that wind their window, threw it away. Like threw it on the road. The government did not cost that. Someone stole my bag. I will not stop talking about it because it's mine and it hurts me. The government did not cost the government did not send you to steal. With this high high rate of kidnapping and stealing and stealing in traffic and vandalizing people's properties, the government did not send you to do that. Someone else also tweeted that if you're living in a if your if you if your country has a low rate of poverty, all of these crimes will be so low, which is true. Which is true. Which now okay, but you cannot do bad things and blame someone else if you get caught this same government will punish you for it, for it, for it if you get caught killing somebody if you get caught kidnapping people and you do not have one ogre at the top to protect you this government will be so fast with your case they will execute you without looking back so when as in when after when i saw this tweet it touched me in ways that man as in i just cannot i just cannot wait to travel to this country i want to experience heaven i want to know how it is so i want to i want to know how organized as someone tweeted how organized if you want to know how organized heaven can be visit japan I want to, I'm already excited to go to Japan and just to, to just experience this thing. Someone else also tweeted that if he has the whole money in the world, he will not stay in, in Nigeria. He wants to go to a place, and before he goes to that, he wants to go to a place, a country like Japan, that will purge him of every Nigerianness in him, which is so true. We need to purge ourselves of all Nigerianness, of all Nigerian mentality. Because we have some nasty, nasty mentality. Some nasty mentality. And funny enough, these people are not even Christians. And that's why they respect all form of life. They are not judgmental. They are not judgmental. Because I've got, I've got to understand that this 
overly spiritual people are the you know they are really really judgmental they judge you down yes for a fact federal ad our administrators our leaders our the politicians our representatives they are not doing what they should be doing but every change can start with the both of us because the government is unfortunate but there is nothing we can do about it there's nothing we can do about it but every change should start with you and i i hope you understand what i am trying to pass across to you guys all right and this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope we can start purging ourselves of the nigerian mentality and learn to live better all right i'm going to see you in my next one till then please subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social media and on all social media platforms my social media platform is always linked in the description box down and um i'll see you in my next one bye guys au revoir <laughs>